Well, for English language learners, in particular, and recent immigrants, I think the, the big issues are you need personnel who can communicate with the parents in their language, who understand the culture, who uh, also understand that many immigrant parents uh, are more deferential to schools. Um, they are more likely to not know that they need to be advocates for their children. And particularly if they're working hard, which many immigrants are and, and uh, have long hours, don't have the time um, to be as involved and, and don't understand the importance of being involved in their child's education. And that's the reason why it's essential that, that schools um, engage and hire personnel who do have the language and cultural skills to build relationships with parents. They approach this as organizing of parents to get parents to understand they have to play a role in supporting their children and supporting that school. Um, and, and in helping them to understand what a good education is so they can advocate for their children, um, which might seem ironic, but you want, there's a healthy tension that you want between parents and schools. You want parents insisting on a good education for their children. Uh, when that happens, usually schools perform better. And we see that to be the case in most middle class communities where parents are very clear on what they're entitled to and usually are very clear about how to advocate for their rights. When that happens in immigrant communities, schools improve as well.